Oh, what about it? Very easy question. Yeah. You have another hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It's, a, it's actually an excellent question. Not because I have a good answer, because it's, it's, it's a manifestation of Iran. Everything that happens here, it's, it's actually, you know, if you, if you want to get to the top of, of what is facilitating everything in the area, it's, it's, about, it's about Iran. It's very interesting, uh, by the way, I've, I've wrote an article in Hebrew, so uh, the economist here in Israel, uh, the other day, yeah, it was yesterday, today we are Tuesday, Sunday I think it was published. Iran's strategy was to, to circulize uh, Israel with, with, their, uh, with their military arms, with their proxies, like uh, Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, the Houthis, they want to, to, to capture a, a chunk in Syria, and kind of, uh, you know, to block Israel and, and to create kind of, a, of an umbrella, choking umbrella over Israel. Uh, the Hamas, I think, was, was stealing the show from Hezbollah, actually. It, it's the little brother, terrible brother, but, but that was stealing the, the, the show and surprise them as well. Mm. By the way, we, 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 we inquired that we, we was, you know, how could it be? But in fact, this is what we understand now, that uh, it was not coordinated. Not with Hezbollah and not with Iran, not with others. Because mm. Sinoir wanted to be, you know, the prophet Sinoir and he said, <laughs> why would I give the show to the others? Now Israel is very weak. So this is the time for me to, to, to take the stage. He took the model, by the way, the modus operandi of Hezbollah and, and act accordingly uh, in, in, in opening the, 7th, the October 7th uh, uh, attack. But since then, if we look from Tehran eyes, they lost or losing Hamas. Hamas will not be there. Hezbollah lost all his doctrine. Let's say, just for the sake of it, 50% of Hezbollah lost his power. It's not exact, but, but because it's not just elimit eliminating, it's about losing the whole doctrine. So he's, he's much less efficient to do today. Yeah, he can use the rocket, but basically this is it. He has nothing else to do. And while using the rockets, Israel can destroy uh, Beirut. Uh, we can make uh, Beirut similar to, to Aza now, which is very flat. So it's not something that very tempting to him to, to be you know, part of the Iranian system now, when he has to pay the price. And by the way, Nasrallah is, is a different type. He's not uh, Sinwar. He's, he's very very uh, logic uh, person, even too logic person. Sinoir is a gambler, he's a, he's a, he's a delusionary guy. Uh, the issue with the Houthis, the idea was also that the Houthis will, you know, do kind of uh, something graduating, but, but this is the problem with the Yamans, you know, if, if you know their dance, they have like one step ahead to bed. But this one doesn't have the back ones. It just have the one ahead. And, and they've, they've, they wake up the, the, the American lion, which is, everybody knows it's a mistake, no? Not the Houthis. So I think that the, the, the going to be escalation, it's already there. And, and I think that the, in the end of the day, they're going to lose a lot of their powers because they have some experience with the Saudis. But you understand that the Saudis is not the American story. It's better to have the Saudis as your enemy than the Americans. And I think they're going to learn in the hard way that the Americans are much harder for them. So it's another arm of, 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 that will be chopped for the, 
for the Iranians. They push very hard now to, to flame uh, Judea and Samaria, mostly Samaria. They just push money, uh, people, uh, equipment, many things to, to, to raise kind of uh, intifada in, in, in Samaria. Uh, I don't see it uh, getting into, into, into a very uh, a dangerous uh, position, but we have to be aware of it, and we are aware of it. And they're trying to, to, to bring some militias from Iraq to, to Syria in order to open another front. And we can handle that too. We are aware of that, and, and I think that uh, our Air Force can, can, can destroy mm -hmm. that. So it's a, it's a bad news for the, for the Iranians. There's another question whether the, the America now, in a, in, a, in a year of campaign, would be willing, you know, to go one step uh, forward and, and to knock on the, the Iranians' head. But, but this is my question to you. You guys are from America, so you... <laughs> <laughs> Israel can't do it. Take care of Iran. We're not allowed. First, 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 you know, uh, I think that uh, we have to play by the American rules. Second thing, I agree. It's a better for us to, to, to do the job all the way uh, to, to the end of it with Hamas. It's very critical. By the way, everybody is looking on them, even the Americans. They want to see results, not that we're punishing, doing, no, no, no. They want to see, you know, all the way. And the Arab countries as well. They all want Hamas to, to, to vanish. Not as an idea, because today Hamas, the people are Hamas. There was indoctrination for so many years, and it's the heart of the people there. And, but the Hamas, as a, as a military, as a terror organization, has to be gone. Uh, so Israel has to be has to focus on that. We still have the issue of of, uh, of Hezbollah. Me personally, I, I think it's an opportunity. Maybe not now, but maybe in two stages. But but this year, if we can go much stronger on Hezbollah, I would preach for that. I, I think it's it's. We will never be in such a good opportunity to engage with, with Hezbollah. You already evacuated the people. So we can... Yeah, and we are, we are already there, and, so, yeah, and many more reasons. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not so simple. And it gets him back to the government. Does the government, this government, have the mandate? The mm -hmm. government that failed on the 7th. So it's not so simple. Yeah. Very few of the people we've talked to have talked to us about world opinion on the current Gaza operation or Hezbollah, or et cetera. We see it and we hear it in our communities. What would you say to those people who are, who are saying Israel's being too heavy-handed in Gaza? Israel is being too aggressive. Israel is very aggressive. <laughs> we don't want them, anybody to mess with us. So, first of all, tell them you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, we, but, but we do it by the, the, the international rules of war. We are very aggressive. But we don't, we, we are not waiting. And, and I, I'll give an example. Okay? There is a house. Okay? In that house, it was used as a position. Okay, let's say there's no pier of tunnel and there was no uh, armament there, but it was used as a position. We are entitled to destroy it. We destroy it. And some also the neighbor because there was a doubt, but it's still <coughs> on the right rules. We are very aggressive, but also by the international rules. We always notify the population before. How come a million and a half people are now in Rafa? We told them. We gave them enough time to go down. We didn't stop them. Only the Hamas was stopping them. 
So the ones that should be in Hague now is the Hamas, not Israel. I have a question. If we can go back to um, the border in Gaza, you mentioned when you were the uh, commander of the Gaza Brigade, there was less technology, more people, uh, soldiers on the fence. Do you think that maybe a hybrid approach of technology and people would have prevented what we've seen October 7th? What do you think? I, I think so, but you were there. You, you commanded that area. You have more experience. What's your opinion? I agree with you. Yeah. I think that, uh, look, when I was the chief of uh, operation, the, there was the aspect of dealing with the Iron Dome. I was against it for that reason. I was afraid that once we have this Iron Dome, everybody will take a shelter under the Iron Dome, and yeah. will get lazy and afraid to attack, etc., etc., etc. Because we are people. Yeah. So when you, you, you change or you break the balance, to, to your very important question, of course, it, it creates this unbalance which hit you back. So yeah, it's 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 not a question; it's an answer. I think. I agree. Um, um, I'm a, in the military now in the Tachmone, in the active military service in operation. So I am not, I am, aren't you explaining? To be honest. You are paid uh, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, uh, Michael said if we are men as Israelis, I'm furious. And what I do in the army now is uh, I watch uh, Hamas TV and I watch Gaza on some Instagram. And that TikTok. Is spokesman or? Uh, no, in Hamas, uh, in uh, Shpa. Hmm. And um, I, I see you on TV and hear and people are saying that we flattened Gaza and, and that Hamas is. Uh, it's been hit, but what we see is that they are still go like in what world? Yesterday, uh, the spokesman of Hamas are going out and saying and showing stuff about our our uh, uh, hostages, and and they are still saying out to the world, we're strong, we are in it. Um, there, there are buildings, like you know, they're showing us the buildings, and I feel like people are saying to the Israelis and to the world, it's like we are winning, but I don't feel we are winning within the army. And, and I feel like, what would you do so we will be winning? Like, how on earth, 100 days after that, you still have 140 people there? Like, how do you explain that? We have to differentiate between um, slogans and, and our impatience to, to, to what is going on. Uh, first of all, you are right. If, if you would ask me if 100% is there, absolutely not. Let's talk numbers. There are 24 uh, battalions of Hamas. 17 out of them, I, by the way, uh, argue with uh, Finkelman or even with Odet. It's your boss, no? Odet Basio. I'm like, too high to, okay. <laughs> uh, let's say 17 out of the 24, we're, we're, we're break, breaking down. Okay? We will break them down. <coughs> if any battalion, uh, there are like, let's say, 1,000 dollars there. So what, what does it mean? It means that at least between 500 to, to 700 were killed. In terms of the echelon of command and control, most of them, like the commanders that were, are dead, okay, and are not functioning as a battalion. But uh, there are still 200 or 100, 150 that in squads are here and there. Okay. Rockets. They had uh, like 4,000 uh, rockets. Now they, they have uh, like 150, 200. So they still can shoot and do the show. So it's it's not like 100 percent. Okay, we, we have to look at it in a in a in a in a bigger way. We thought, by the way, not a mistake, that they have like 500 kilometers of tunnels. Apparently, it's more close to 2,000. 
and it's a hell to blow them and to find them. And you know, it's very hard because we, every time we have to find out that there are no uh, people there, our people there. And then even if there's nobody there, like three weeks ago, I don't know if you remember, they show how we blow a tunnel of 700 meters in uh, Muhammadev uh, Resort or something like that. Just technically, to, to see that blow, it took, it took uh, two weeks, 14 days, full days. Civilian engineering, you know, to put the dynamite, to put there and there and there. By the way, 14 ton was to, to blow it. And, and, it, and it took two weeks. Okay. So 80 days we are, we are in most of, of, of the, the Gaza Strip. It's huge. It's, it's very big. So we, we have to, to have patience. And, and the problem with, with that, I would say, uh, clock is, of course, our people there. The, the hijack, the, the people that are there, that, that for us, every hour, it's like endless. It's, it's, it's hell. So that one gives the tone, like, like what is happening? And, and, but in terms of a war, there's no war in the, look, Mosul. Mosul, the Americans took them like three months. Much smaller than, than Khan Yunes or that, much smaller, no underground, absolutely not the same enemy, much less. And it took them three months just to, to, to take over Mosul. In three months, we took over almost all Gaza. So, so there is a proportion here. You have the right to feel what you feel. I'm not trying to change your no, feeling, I but- I agree, it's really hard, it's really hard, but I feel like it, they don't, like, in the public, <coughs> people don't understand that it's so hard, and they think, oh, in few weeks, we're gonna win. But it's not yes. happening. What, like, what is the winning is... picture? What is the winning picture in, in, in few weeks? Honestly, we, we, we might not have a, a winning picture, and I think we need to, to think a little bit differently from, from this is not the Six Day War on, and all those glorious uh, wars. This is a terrible war. By the way, if we all succeed very much, we, we, we may get break even. If you ask me, because we, we, are, we have lost on the seven. We have lost on the seven. And before we bring all the people from there, and we still have 136 uh, people there. You can never win this war, even to get, to get even, if you don't bring them back. So we have to be realistically about it. But I think to, that, that our persistency to, to, to delete the Hamas and, and the way people are walking, the motivation in, in, in the field, it's, it's a winning by itself. Not in any comparison, and I and I think we will be able, you know, to, to to grind the Hamas to the level that that if we go to a, a political solution to to bring somebody on top of them, there is a good chance that the Hamas will not raise again. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.